smell the barbecue. I hear children. A dog. And I see someone. I think I see someone. These things. None of it for me. Not moved by roaring engines. Not long warriors. We come from the night. Score, Cap. Do or die, son. Same as always. Hoorah, sir. It's the break of dawn. July 16, 1946. Everything has gone to shit. The Nazi war machine is advancing at an astonishing rate. We can't catch up. Our tactics are failing. Outclassed and outgunned. No one knows why. People are getting desperate. Not me. I'm here to see an old friend and settle a score. Turn this thing around. Fergus, what's your status? Ah, Blomkowitz. We've got a skit of them bad ways over here. Trapped inside an aircraft where well, some kind of armored hellbeast is trying to fucking eat us. No joke. Like the same problem here. Shacked up inside dead wreckage. Is that you over there? The private Wyatt, flash your lights. The Blasco, can you see the light? Wyatt, turn off the light, turn it off. Yes, sir. I see you. What can I do for you? We can't get to it from out position. I'm only fucking trapped in here. But if you can access a cockpit turret on this here aircraft, you might be able to kill the beast. Regular small arms sure don't work for bug at all. Hey, perhaps you can swim here. Just keep your head down below the surface. You should be all right. Good plan, Fergus. Coming to you. All right. Listen up. There's a high-powered machine gun nest in those trenches over there. We cannot advance the unit without being slaughtered. So, I want you to make your way over into those trenches and take the nest out. Just run as fast as you possibly bloody can, straight up the middle. We'll lay down cover five from here. Got it. Uh, put this on. I'll radio updates from our position. Right, lads, you ready to lay down suppressor fire? Pay attention, beer boys. This is all turned from a goose hunt to a stick-up job. Behind us now is a second pillar of the German army. What are you doing, you dumb bastard? Private gate, sirs. Important for duty. Well, crazy and dedicated. Welcome to the war. Take over, Private. Now, General Death's head is nearer to us now than he's been in years. Some nasty wounds you've got there, Private. Be sure to mind that bleed. We eliminate the General, we cut the head off the crowd war machine. If we don't, they're gonna have us for breakfast. Uh, you all right there, kid? Sir, put my eyes are water, and I think I'm gonna be sick. Is this normal? It's just nerves. Let me teach you a trick. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. Count to four. All there is to it. We're having our ass tanned by some Nazi mutant fucking Frankenstein. So we ready then, lads? This time, we get the job done. Now let's go. Let's move it on. Go. Are you lazy or we roasted? This is a war, not a fucking Sunday church walk. Come on. A good team. Like father and son. Alright. Captain Blaskowitz. Gates, Benson. Your job is simple. Climb up this wall. Get inside. Locate the control room for this big fucking door and open it for us. 
See any Nazi firearms, you take them. Bound to be better than ours. The rest of us will come here from down here. Now, once the doors open, we get inside, we work our way up through the building, we meet up again on the top floors, we find Death's head, and we shoot him in the head. General Death's head. Today he's teaching me a lesson. I've seen suffering and death. People maimed and tortured. Thought I'd seen it all. But I've never seen true cruelty. Until now. Count to four. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. Wciąż nie znamy jego tożsamości? Przez dziewięć tygodni nikt go nie szukał? Nikt, panie doktorze, nie. Nie mogę usunąć od łańca. Tylko pogorszyłbym jego stan. Tak, panie doktorze. W takim razie trafi do zakładu psychiatrycznego. Nic nie możemy zrobić. Mózg jest uszkodzony. Tak. Ma jajecznicę z mózgu. Tak, panie doktorze. Jajecznicę. sensation trapped in my body not blackout i'm losing time sometimes the seasons change in the blink of an eye and i'm having trouble with my thoughts and they dissipate like a scent on the wind but it's getting better here's what i know i'm in poland the hospital no an insane asylum She's the head nurse. That's her father. Shrink. And her mother. Some type of pharmacist. They run the place, I reckon. Sometimes Christmas. Sometimes birthdays. And sometimes Nazis come. And they leave with patients in shackles. Like it's Death's Head's personal candy store. And the shrink raises hell and all, but in the end he signs. No choice, I suppose. And I've seen all this. Good folks made powerless. I'm alive because of these people. I'm getting better. Because of her. Her name is Anya. She takes good care of me. She takes care of everyone. She holds this place together. We're supposed to be married by now, but... Hasn't happened. Nazi scum!
walczyć. Kim jesteś? Jestem William J. Blaskowicz. Ranger, Army, USA, USA. I'm sorry, my Polish isn't very good. Are you fit to drive? Where to? Wherever. It's 1960. 1960? Yes. yes. You've stayed with us for 14 years. It's 1960. I, I have to find a way to contact the U.S. military. I gotta find my unit, let them know I'm alive and no, ready no, for duty. There's no more war. It's over. No more military. No. The war ain't over. Look at all these Nazis walking around. They won. It's over. The Nazis rule the world now. They are everywhere. Everywhere. What about the U.S.? The USA. They, um... What's the word? Put that you. Surrender. Surrender. They surrendered? Because of... Uh... Oh! Gosh. Atom bomb. They surrendered 12 years ago when Nazi atom bombed their country. Yes. Well, then I'll find the resistance. I'll find them and I'll help them fight. Oh, no, no, no. More resistance. Everyone is captured. If they leave, the Nazis have them. And who can say where they keep them? What? Let me tell you how this is going to work. I'm going to ask you one question. You are going to answer that question in a way I find satisfactory, and if you do not, I will saw your head off with this here appliance, you hear me? So here it comes. Where are you people keeping the captured resistance fighters? I'm sure. I don't know what you're talking about. There is no resistance! <laughs> Zur Hölle mit dir und deinem verdammten Widerstand! What do you want to know? The resistance fighters, where are they? Berlin, Eisenwald, Preisen. But you'll never make it there. Checkpoints everywhere, looking for you, looking for you, looking for you and the nurse. And soon they will find this place. And then you will be on your knees! No, gotowy, gotowy. Jesteś przystojny chłop, panie Błaskowicz. Nie taki przystojny jak ja, ale nieźle, nieźle. Pilnuj jej. 
Rozumiemy się? Albo ja cię znajdę i zrobię ci krzywdę. Rozumiem. Dobrze. Dobrze. Więc wybieramy się do Berlina. We ask for your mercy, Lord, as we make to journey across dark waters. Grant us sound feet and silent breath. Refuge from the storm. And safe passage. Anya, you and me on a train to Berlin. William? Yes. Is that for me? <laughs> yes. You know there's just one bed. Yes. Are you comfortable sharing? Christmas, sometimes birthdays, sometimes mayhem, suffering, and death. Sometimes you just need to feel something good. They're making a pickup. You find a way to get down on the roof of that prison transport bus. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenberg prison. I go down and distract the guard. And maybe he won't see you. This is true of the Nazis. They're not lacking in vanity. Getting ready for the eternal nap. And this Nazi killing jammy bastard shows up out of nowhere. What have you been up to, Blaskowitz? <laughs> Shooting, stabbing, strangling Nazis. Ready to set Wait. things straight, Fergus. Well then, let's square on out of here. Kill every damn Nazi that gets in our way. Hey! Eh, Careful that door! Here they come. 
Do any of you know how to hotwire a car? Tracking our every move. If this was nighttime, we'd have more options. The daytime entry to the Crazer Resistance headquarters is no easy feat. Not that anyone's ever tried one before. The skies are empty for now. Lucky for us. Well, I'd rather die in the fresh air than in that damn prison. Right, you be on the light now. This is a two-parter. First, we need to hit that blind spot precisely dead on. In possession. Now, go, go, go! Long as we stay in this here mist, no one will see us. Right, this is the second part. We're jumping. Don't hesitate, just do it. Soon as you hit the water, you're gonna hold your breath and swim after me. Whatever you do, stay under the water. You break the surface, we're all dead. There are Nazis fucking everywhere. Now don't think about it. Just jump! Hold me, I'm freezing. Max! Oh, Mr. Max! Put him down, Max. Gently. Please, Captain! This is close. He's on our side. Used to be a Nazi, but not anymore. How is this possible? We are in the very center of Berlin. You're hiding in the plain sight. That's the last place they would look out. Will they not hear us? Best to keep your voice down then, yeah? Fuck me. B.J. Blaskovich. I should have known only you would be dumb enough to do a daytime entry. The lady. Glad to have you back, Fergus. Caroline, you're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, three pulverized vertebrae. You? Head trauma, four inches of cast iron shrapnel right in the conch. Still in there. Severed colon, septic shock, shattered pelvis. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. Good to see you, William. So, what can you do? What are you doing here? Pleased to see you too, Tekla. You're supposed to be dead, Burgess Reed. You've been gone for three months. This stupid anomaly. People don't come back from Eisenwald. And you, long since off the books. I've heard stories about you. I was told you died in 1946. This misformation always. You, I don't even know who you are. We're variable. Well, none of this has been accounted for. I will have to revise my whole model. Thank you very much. I am hearing interesting things out of London. I have a folder marked Project Whisper, but someone has borrowed it. Klaus, I believe it was. Can you find it and bring it to me, would you please, Captain? Now that you are here, I think we can do great things. You know about before uh, going off on you like that? It's a force of habit. No worries, Johnny Cowboy. It's not the first time it happens. Yeah, perhaps you should consider removing them tattoos. I will, in time. I was, as you Americans say, all wet when I got them, and I'm sorry to say it was a very proud moment of my life. I want removing them to be an even prouder moment. No more Nazis, no more tattoos. So long as you don't get in the way of me killing Nazis, we'll see eye to eye. Caroline's looking for a document folder, Project Whisper. Oh, he gets humor. Max doesn't speak English very well. But he does know Project Whisper. It's a risky business operation. He knows it'll cost us to pull it out. Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Alles in Ordnung, mein Sohn. Wir werden für dich kämpfen. Caroline said you borrowed the folder. Do you have it here? I did take it two days ago. But I put it back. Go to the ground floor. The folder should be in the drawer in a desk in her room. Where I left it. 
Max, I really need you to step aside. Max, bitte. Geht zur Zeite. Das er ist wichtig. Max, komm her. Komm mal. Alles in Ordnung. Alles wird gut sein. I'm sorry. I should have known you would have taken it. Much obliged, Captain Blaskovich. You ready for an assignment? Friends and comrades, this is it. Project Whisper. It's been in development for years. A helicopter aircraft. The Nazis have found a way to make it virtually silent in flight and undetectable by means of radar. Anya has decrypted the Nazi chatter out of London and located the only three prototypes in existence at the London Nautica Research Facility there. With Captain Blaskovich on the team, we are finally strong enough to strike at the operations. The days of scurrying like rats are over. With these machines in our possession, we can go anywhere, hit anything. We will rebuild the Kreisau Circle, arm ourselves to the hilt. We will rise up and take down death's head for good. They think the war is over, that we are weak, beaten, don't have the guts to oppose them. And as always, they are wrong. I've got a 14-hour drive. I've got a sinus infection. I haven't had a full night's sleep in eight months. So let's go, people. Because I'm not doing this again. You've got balls of steel, Bobby Brown. Stop. I just want to get this over with. I think I found something. What do you see? Ancient artifacts. Highly technological in nature. Parchment. Looks like Hebrew. I think the Nazis are trying to reverse engineer all this stuff. Are there any identifying marks? Dot? You should. Dog, Abel, apostrophe, Abel, Tara, space, yoke, item, Charlie, how, Uncle Dog. Might be something in our archives, Anya. See if you can find any references to Dot, you should. Will do. Be careful out there. I like her flask of it. Good catch. Be sure to bring as much of this dot you should stuff as you can carry. Will do. All aboard! How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. So they found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. Priority. What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Blaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? 
I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? That'll be all. We can go now. Fergus, I need the keys to the archives. You got them? Yeah. Hang on. Fuck! 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 You okay, Fergus? I'm getting old, Blaskowitz. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. We'll be all right. We can still get the job done. Eh? For how much longer? What's this about, Fergus? I don't know. Nothing. Everything. It's about that boy, goddammit, Private Wyatt. He should be here instead of me. He was young. He, he had potential. He could have given us a future. You and me were two fucking mummies from the past, running on nothing but willpower. I made the wrong choice. Oh, that's fucking obvious, isn't it? I was ready to die. I would have done it gladly. I worked my ass off to save that boy, Blazkowicz, and you fucking pissed it away on a whim. Remember Prendergast? That fucking kid, he could endure anything. Now he's gone. They're all fucking gone. But you're stuck with this useless fucking skeleton. I mean, tell me, what's the long-term solution, eh? Who's gonna take over when we're too damn battered to strap on the horses anymore? Now get the fuck out. I need a nap. Doing. Science project. Well, you're scaring Max. That's not good. Sorry, pal. Didn't know it'd flip out like that. That his son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son, born during the war. A miracle, he called it. So he had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father. For a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself? I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. <clears throat> Gum? It's good. Cherry? Nah. I'm good, thanks. Uber concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on a dot issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tempering with a mix. Someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in dot issue documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Łódź and sent off to a forced labor camp in Belice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. 
The labor camp excavates limestone from a quarry for a manufacture of uber concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find Seth Roth, a living member of Dot Egypt. The problem is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. So what is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? You ready for this, Blaskovich? So stupid. How oh, arrogant. No one is ever ready for something like this. Clear to accept, it gets no easier than me. Now I can remember Nimir how many weeks long, months maybe. Not many survive for long. I was fighting the Nazis in Africa. I held them back for a while. My it and the luck, it was too strong. Now I just try to survive, day for day. I'm looking for a man called Set Roth. I have heard of him. Survived in here longer than any other. He's in Block 4. Jay want to go there? They need director uniform. Who have a doubt? Look for a prisoner over there, by your right, dressed in a Block 4 uniform. Say now, Miss Milo. I heard his wife is quartered in our block. Maybe that will convince him to trade uniforms, let you. But they need to distract the guards first. I see. Milo, I know where they keep your wife. Who are you? I'm in the same block as her. You sure? She's not dead. Oh, God, she lives. If you're willing to swap uniforms, you can find out for yourself. Okay. Hurry. Wie sieht's aus? Können wir wieder anfahren? Die Lager sind geschmolzen. Brauchen wir unten ein paar Mechaniker. Die kommen erst morgen wieder. Ja, dann machen wir Schluss für heute, oder? Ja. Komm, gehen wir schaufen. Warum denn nicht? Aufgemerkte Feinde! Die Fabrik ist heute geschlossen. Kehrt sofort in eure Quartiere zurück. Insassen von Block 4 durch das rote Tor. Insassen von Block 6 durch das blaue Tor. I hope they find what they seek, my friend. My name is Bombati. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen my daughter? Seth Roth. Oh, look at this Shimshin. So much muscle, a physique, what for combat? You said Roth? I'm not sure yet. What do you know of Seth Roth? You doubt you should. Source of the Nazi technology, I'm here to rescue you. You're here to rescue This is wonderful. He's here to rescue me. Who will rescue him? And then, uh, get back, Shimshin. Don't waste your time. I swore an oath to never betray the secrets of Das Yichen. Oh, fuck your oath. People are dying. The resistance calls on you. So it's a transaction of sorts, right? My personal freedom for the secrets I swore to keep. Sacrifice my honor on the altar of righteousness? Well, permit me a moment to consider, Shimshin. Here's my proposition to you. Aid me in closing this place down, and I will seat you and your comrades at the table of true power. Deal. I've been working on a little project. That machine there, it moves because of stolen dust. You hood technology. I know it very well. Now this... Don't look at this so bluntly. 
Bliss, for this I can seize control over that machine. Level the gates of this place free. Everyone, I only miss one more part. Name it. That's a power source. Now, that machine, well, its electrical systems are powered by a detonic battery. You can find the detonic battery at the service station at the command building. It's in a different lock, lock six. If you can disable the automatic security systems monitoring the exits, you'll be able to make it into lock six. I believe that there, at the guard's barracks, there's a control module. It controls the security systems. Find a way in. Locate the control module. Disable the systems. Come back to me. Uh, sometimes we have to find other ways of resistance than violence. The slightest adjustment of the chemicals destabilizes the mixture. Structural soundness erodes. Mold develops armor. Security systems. It's done. Wow, Shimshin. What is your name, Nikola? Blaskovich. Blaskovich, yes, Blaskovich. So, now the security systems are, are, are disabled. You can go past this gate, back through the factory, out the blue gate inside Block 6, where the command control building is located. Sneak inside, get the detonic battery. Please act urgently before anyone notices what you have done. That's the high angle. Inside. That's good luck. <laughs> Saboteur! Hier sind erkenne ich von der Selektion wieder. Nein, nein. Noch das Tor, Bobby. Der Nachtzug. Meine Güte, ja, du hast recht. Zu einem Abzeichen zu erzählen, ist ein Amerikaner und ein Anarchist, hä? Ein Amerikaner? Gut. Sofortige Liquidierung von ihm und allen Insassen von Block 4. Sonst eine eindrückliche Warnungszeit für all die Schweine, die alleine auf Stadt gedacht haben. Alarmiert sie als Haus. Ja, Lager, Kommandant. Dabei muss ich aber nicht dabei sein, oder? Der Gestank dieses Ortes. Nee. Mach, was du willst. What were you thinking, you stupid idiot? You have it! Sichud is an ancient, mystical society. For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, you... no, Mamale, we don't pray. We invent things, Mamale. The technology developed by Da Sichud is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined. And highly dangerous in the wrong hands. And the Nazis found our safety. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found, others Great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you will seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeepers hidden deep below the Atlantic Ocean. We will need a U-boat, capable of great depths, that's all. Stealing a goddamn Nazi U-boat? This is what you're proposing? Are you off your head, man? I know how to get a U-boat. But for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Chichod engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We will need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, help him out, sir, if you'd be so kind. Jesus Christ. 
Christ, Tecla. Why aren't you asleep? I try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? <laughs> surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of that process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past. And you have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasion, the brain may be subjected to trauma. Temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process, such as a boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? Now, it's too stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. The new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter, inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. <gasps> What about the soul? Oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul, simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. <laughs> to make of you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data. Nazi activity. Behavioral patterns. Hours. Theirs. Doing the math. Developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> You think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh -huh. So what's with the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. You have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. No, you're right. You're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Doug, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already, and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changer. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I will drink with you in celebration when near that time comes. You're on. William. 
Do you have a moment? Hast du was gewetzt gesehen? Schon wieder mit dieser Unsinn! Mein Gott, was ist nur los mit diesen Leuten? trying for years to bring it up to working order. You all clean? Anyone following you? No. No? What do you mean, no? Yes? I have a friendly face. Delivers to the naval yard. Alles in Ordnung, Horst? Du, nimm nicht so viele Kissen, sonst merken die, dass etwas nicht stimmt. Ja, ja. They supply the torpedoes to all the Nazi U-boats in Europe. You will hide in the torpedo. Horst will slip it back into main supply. And you will wake up on a U-boat for breakfast time. Once we have a U-boat, we take it to set secret safekeep, yeah? Hey, sailors, get in the way. Bang, bang, so the pup. Come on, man. I'll fuck the pig, you just hold the ears. Okay, career Johnny. Get in the torpedo. Once you board the U-boat, patch this thing into the communication room and raise the antenna buoy. We need radio contact. The dark dreams seem to fade. Too far out of reach. For now, I just miss the light. in the bag. Bags in the river. Keep the channel open, Blaskowitz. We are in bound. Tracking your signal. You know what you have here, Captain Blaskowitz? This is the Eva's hammer, the crown jewel of the Nazi U-boat fleet. There's a nuclear cannon on this boat. Uh, correction. Our nuclear cannon. Backbone on this here magnificent fucking U-boat, Captain. I'll give him that. Took the decryption keys to the nuclear cannon to his grave. It won't fire? Not the nuclear warheads, no. There I was, planning to ram a big proper atom bomb down Death's Head's throat. So let's find the decryption keys. The actual physical nuclear decryption keys are not kept on planet Earth. They're stored at the Nazi lunar base. U-boat captains are required to learn them by heart. With the lunar base is the most secure facility the Nazis have. It's where they do all their top secret research these days. What's your point? Uh, Caroline and Anya are working on a bucket HQ. In the we are here. There. This is Das Yichut Prism to make your laser beam attuned to the proper frequency. And you should be able to charge the magnetic coils. You see them? It's, it's up there. Come in. Come in. Hey, uh, what you got, Caroline? We have a lead on those decryption keys for the nuclear cannon. Anya, it's a troop transport train recalled from the African front. On board is the chief research scientist for Death's Head's latest generation super soldat program. He's leaving for the Nazi lunar base tonight to oversee the launch of the new super soldat. The intercept the troop transport train, locate the chief research scientist, steal his identity and use it to permit Blaskovich to take his seat on the lunar shuttle. Once you're the lunar base, you need to find the nuclear decryption keys and bring them back to Earth. How'd intercept a high-speed Nazi troop transport train? 
Best side will be the Gibraltar Bridge. Okay, yeah, okay, but how? Set, any ideas? We can use this one. This is very, very powerful. Where it, it, in English you can call it, I mean, how is it? Spindly talk. You, you drop this in front of the train, this, this will stop anything. Excellent. Leave right away. That third train is en route. Fuck me. I know what you're thinking, Blasco. No chance. I'm keeping this thing. You give that to Caroline. Decryption keys now. You've done it, Blaskovich. Now get your butt back to Earth, please, William. Commander Central London Nautica. A transporter number four. The main Laren would have been You would have been a verdammt terrorist and angegriffen and been gerade mit dem Leben davon gekommen. Bestanden transporter four. Vollständige Einsatz nach Besprechung und nach ihrer Antwort. Verdammt zum Mist! Wer ist im Schiff? Transporter four. The things I've seen in this life. Strange shit that turns your stomach. Turns your hair white. All right, Captain Cowboy. Roger. This is your buddy boy Klaus Kreuz in the car heading toward the London Nautica. Roger. Find your way down to the parking lot and I will pick you home. Roger. I've seen a thousand battles. The London Nautica is opening fire. I think they are shooting at you. I've seen the sun set on five different continents. The dust rise off the surface of the moon. But all I want is to see you again. What 
Kind of defense. I'm on the portable radio. They're inside! Now I put you in the car. We have to drive! Turtling down Shit's Creek now, Johnny Cowboy. I hope we can make it back home in time. Berlin. Come in, Berlin. What's your status? Uh, getting worse. I don't know how much longer we can stick it out. Is overrun with death's heads, man. I think they're being led by your old friend Frau Engel. Death's head must have promoted her for her actions at the labor camp. Caroline's with me. We've taken cover in the helicopter hangar. They're trapped. There are Nazis fucking everywhere. Where the others are, I don't know. Some are dead, some are hanging on. is 19. A prime, why not? For the math to square, each and every one on our side must defeat 19 on theirs, on average, and then we'll win. I've been proficient with what you taught me. 11 in the stack. Did I thank you? I can't remember if I thanked him, should thank the man that is my friend. But I have accumulated an additional seven through other means prior to this day. I'm on the move. I need to find Fergus and Caroline. You should come with me. And violate my model. The model is loyal to universal causality. You ask me to rebel against the laws of nature, don't you see? The road in front of you is long and so hard, I wonder how you will cope. Mine is at its end, on this day. I am glad to have found my friend.
wake up to reality. Sometimes, truly, it's good to remember what you're fighting for. It's time. From what we know of Death's Head's compound, prisoners are kept on the lower levels, close to the experimental labs. Uh, our timing needs to be perfect. We have the nuclear decryption keys now. Come in deep. Surface real close to the compound. You fucking pulverize the outer wall with the cannon. Get inside the compound as fast as you can. They'll be returning fire, so we'll need to dive again before the U-boat gets gubbed up, after which we'll pull back to a safe distance. When you're inside, get down to the lower levels. Free the prisoners. We send in his helicopter. Once everyone is safely in the air, we prime the nuclear warheads, fire the atomic bombs, level the whole site. Be more banal. No more death's head. Be safe out there. <sighs> Don't fuck this up, you magnificent cunt. Max sauce. where people can go and live happy. I believe so too. Not for me and for you. I think today we meet for the last time. Captain Blaskovitz. Still fighting after all these years. I remember your friend. I see for his memory. Do you remember him? must learn that this is pointless instinct, not fit for the master race. Hoch, hoch, auf die Platte! Intelligence of the human. 
human brain. Amalgamate it with the efficiency and obedience of the machine. Yeah. <laughs> 